Thank you so much for doing this. This is, uh, it's always been delightful to do this job, but it's extra special now that, you know, the world is weird and everything's crazy. It's just extra delightful to be able to be here together and doing us. this, so thank you. Um, I want to talk about Josh Kaufman. I like Josh Kaufman. I like Josh Kaufman's hair. He's just like a force of nature, man. He's the best guy. Josh Ritter as well. And you are forces to be reckoned with as well. And I love what you do. Can you talk about what the dynamic looks like when you and Josh Kaufman get into a room together to, to create uh, music? Well, we've only done it a couple times, uh, one of which was when we made this record. Um, with him, it was right before COVID started, actually, that we went to the studio together and we were all talking about this mysterious virus and what was going to happen. And uh, luckily, we got the record made just in the nick of time. But it was really an inspiring just a handful of days making this record with them. We hadn't ever really let anybody in that much to be that big a part of any of our recording projects. And um, we were kind of unsure about how it was going to go, but we just went up to a lake house. It was very low pressure, not in a big studio or anything. And as soon as we started working on the tunes, it, it just seemed like a really good match. He could pick up on 
when we had strong ideas that we wanted to lead with, and he also was very tactful about steering us in the right direction when it, when it seemed necessary. Yeah, I've felt that same strategic nature of Josh Kaufman and how well he picks up on the vibe that's happening and how he's able to just amplify it, pick up on it, and, and make sure that those ideas are communicated the right way. So that's awesome, man. I'm glad that you guys had that experience. And yeah. um, thank you for the music here today. There's still there's more to be shared. What's happening second today? Yeah, this is uh, probably the one that gets played the most when we pick up a guitar and just sit down around the house. It's called New Star. We settled in for the winter The cast in our lives Found a new star And all of our remaining hours Bundled up tight, placed in our arms. Someday we'll be older. Our eyes may cry, what's become in my phone. Steal away, steal away. All right, thank you so much for being here for the music today. We appreciate it very much. And congratulations on the expanding family. Um, that's a thank brand you. new thing in life. Um, have you found your music lyrically or sonically to be evolving in response mm -hmm. to this new life situation? I got a tune really quick or I would answer that. Uh, definitely lyrically, um, especially this album. A lot of these tunes were written just in the first like, few weeks after our daughter was born. Um, so there's a lot of sort of wonder and mystery and inspiration, I think, that, that comes through from that. Um, yeah. How has your sleep been? I know we're, pretty, we're all pretty sleepy right now after not having slept really for two days. Um, right. How are you guys doing generally in life? Probably a lot of sleeplessness. Yeah, it's not, not as bad as it was in the beginning, but Andrew kind of is fueled creatively by the lack of sleep. So Good drug. Uh, it was a fruitful time. It's there the weirdest the drug there is. Like It's the most effective one. Things get weird after, after you've been up for 72 hours. There's no way around it. Yeah, it's true. I think... Um, 
That's when I do most of my songwriting, is like between those hours of 12 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, and there was a lot of that going on, especially in those first few weeks. Um, and so just a, a flood of tunes and ideas and things that I'd never really, just kind of perspectives, you know, just of thinking about wanting to be a protector. Like I've never wanted to be a protector of anything or anyone really. Um, but this one, it just like it really ignites that part of, um, it ignited that part of my brain and my heart. And so I think a lot of that is also wrapped up in these songs where there's just like this subtle layer of gentle protection going on always. And um, yeah, I think you can feel that in a lot of the lyrics. Cool, man. Well, I'm glad that you decided to reproduce specifically because your kid's going to be rad. I mean, you're <laughs> rad. You're going to have a rad kid. So good for you. I can't wait to meet this rad kid in 18 years or whatever. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we'll keep doing this. You're going to keep doing this. So we'll see you in a year and just keep crossing paths forever, man. We really, that really appreciate great. you being here. Thanks for having me. Um, what, is, what are you going to do third today off of Watch House? Um, this is a definitely a late night tune. It's called Nightbird. I'm standing at the door Crying, let me in I see her dancing there In all of her wonder How her body moves With eternal youth And her footsteps hammer on I'm stuck here in the shadows Fueling the dream Another face just flashing in the night The smoke it folds around me Like unenchanted wings As I listen to the night Oh, close this great divide between my heart and mine. Well, she held me in my anguish, and pulled me from my pain, and sheltered me from life's mystery. That's what she once made me believe So go dive in empty spaces Where magic weaves and spins Go find her there, it's where she set me free
Well, if I could turn my back now Lay back down with you I'd pull you in and finally get some sleep Listening to the night birds without They hold her in their song